Game two of the Vinette Solutions NRLSA All-Stars Carnival coming to you here from uh, Hanson Reserve and Woodville Gardens and it's the New Zealand side on the uh, left of your screen about to take on the uh, Pacific Islander side and David Robinson uh, here in the commentary box. Robbo, this is set to be an exciting clash. Yeah, Dan, that's right. Uh, the Kiwi guys, plenty big, plenty strong. These guys, uh, they can hurt you from all, all parts of the field. And we'll get to see that with their uh, defensive set first up and they uh, make the first tackle about uh, 25, 30 metres away from uh, the Pacific side's uh, line. Plenty of these boys playing in uh, the reserve grade competition here in the uh, in South Australian Metropolitan League. Plenty of them with uh, the uh, the Eels, the, the Tigers I should say, who are, are doing quite well this year. So the combinations, plenty of the combinations are already in place and we'll see if they can put them together against this Pacific Islander side. Plenty of rugby union players and... Uh, a solid chase here from them in their first attacking set of the game. Uh, Thayer Geyer was uh, chasing down this left-hand side. And uh, they'll come up with her possession, pats on the back and high fives early from uh, the Pacific Islander side. And they'll come up with the ball about 30 metres away from the, the New Zealand try line. Uh, unfortunately, they've just seen a little knock on there from Mikey Richards just as he's gone to pick up that ball. Uh, just as the defence arrived, they've sort of hit him and, yeah, it's just popped out. Brilliant opportunity for the Pacific Islander side. Brilliant kick and uh, brilliant chase from the Pacific Islander team. Uh, not a lot of these players, uh, uh, of course, playing uh, regular football here in the uh, NRLSA competition, but you can see some of the connections and the communication there with a, a great chase and a great opportunity here as they try and go down the short side through their, their big number 12, Benji Fono, but he spills the ball and uh, we'll uh, back to the, the same position. We'll have take two, but we'll... Uh, have a, a different uh, loose head and feed with the New Zealand side. Of course, New Zealand All-Stars side, combination of, um, uh, of course, Maori players as well as uh, other New Zealanders in the, in the side and uh, plenty of these guys, plenty of talent and you'll be playing with and uh, against and, and coaching a, a few of them. Yeah, Dan, uh, a few of the guys out there for the for the New Zealand side. Mikey Richards, a fullback, uh, mate, he, he can hit. He's got electric on electric feet when he runs, but, yeah, defensively he hurts people. They switch it down this uh, blind right side and the fend early. They've got, he's got pace to burn, but uh, gets taken there. Mikey Richards, the man you were just mentioning, taken by the number 13 for the Pacific side. That's uh, Romanu Manu. And a uh, very quick tap there. Richards again, he's uh, notching up uh, the uh, the possession stats, uh, the touches early. He plays it back there to his number four. That's Nah, a go across through uh, 13. That's Ruri, and they'll uh, get another penalty here about. 20 metres away, centre ground and right in the uh, prime position in the middle third for the New Zealand side. Yeah, I think uh, Mikey tried taking that real quick tap again there. Probably feels a little bit hard done by it because I reckon that defender was back about three metres. And uh, tackle there about 10 metres out. Uh, Chris Davison taking it up for the New Zealand side. They go here through keeper. And the tackle's affected about five away from the line, just in front of that left-hand pad, playing it back to Nar again. Nar getting heavily involved and just a couple of metres away from the line now, but the Pacific defence uh, right up to it early stages of this match here. Ruri going out to the left-hand side, stopping and stepping is uh, Patu. Muddy Patu for the uh, New Zealand side. A decently quick play the ball back and fending his way is Tari. And uh, looking uh, very threatening early, the dummy. Comes through keeper, Dane Keeper, the number six for the New Zealand side, and reaching out and getting close to the line, but uh, no no try. But last tackle says our a man in the middle. Not set for the last. The ball goes through, bounces off legs, and we'll have uh, an offside here by the looks of things. Very quick tap, but uh, line uh, not set and uh, all accidental, but uh, going against the Pacific side. The, the Kiwi boys there tonight, Dan, they're, they're ready and rare and they're firing to go. You, Unfortunately, they're probably playing a little bit in front of themselves there at the moment. Probably better off to take that opportunity to slow the, slow the play down. But as you see there, big hole hipper Jackson. Short ball off Mikey Richards and we've got the points. That was, uh, I dare say, a prepared play to have the big man out here about 10 metres in from this uh, right-hand touch line. And really, there was uh, no stopping him. You can see how tall, you can see how how uh, heavy he has in a, up against the... Uh, the left side defence for the Pacific Island side really stood no chance. Some clever play there from New Zealand off the back of a, a penalty and they go 4-0 up in the early stages of this uh, second game here. I reckon Deb will call that the Lomu play. They've put the biggest, biggest, baddest guy on the field. They've parked him out on the wing and he's, unfortunately he's picked on a poor little winger. And at the end of the day, mate, 130 kilos is always going to get over the line. 
Mack truck against a small car on this uh, eastern uh, edge and uh, we see lining up for the uh, the goal there, the number seven, Matty Partu. Uh, of course he's quite the try scorer himself uh, so uh, expect to see him involved in plenty of the attacking plays. Uh, he'll be taking it about 10 metres in from the uh, the touchline, looking to go 6-0 up in uh, the very early stages here. But uh, they look good, this New Zealand side. You can see that the combinations, you can see the, the rhythm that they've already got with each other. Uh, of course, these players coming from teams right across uh, South Australia together for this All-Stars Carnival. Dover it goes, all-important conversion, 6-0 New Zealand ahead. Pacific Island side about to uh, kick off after conceding the first points of this clash in a, a deep kickoff going about 42, 43 uh, metres there off the boot of Williams and some very strong defence there from the Pacific Islander side four in the tackle including their uh, their big number 20. We don't have him on our sheet at the moment but I'm sure we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see plenty of him in this game. A nice one-on-one -on -one tackle there from Romanu Manu, heavily involved for the Pacific side early. Getting the ball away there for New Zealand and taking the tackle is uh, Ruri. Playing it back through Nah, Getting it on the ball just a little high from Partu, but they scramble and pick it up the New Zealand side. And they'll uh, play that about 30 metres away from their own line. They definitely had players in motion there, Dan. Unfortunately, the, the pass didn't quite find its mark. But, oh, look out. Oh, cardinal sin. Balls. Unfortunate kick there from Mikey Richards. She's gone out in the full. And this has gifted the, the Pacific Island side a great opportunity to try and uh, peg themselves back into this game. Handed it to them on a platter. You, from that deep in his own territory, it looked like he might have been going for a 40-20, but it wasn't a clean kick off the, the boot. And uh, you can see that with the result, hitting the, the 30 metre marker over there on the full. And as you said, this Pacific side, we haven't seen much of uh, them in attack so far. And uh, here's the perfect opportunity to come out of this left-hand side, but instead they uh, stay close to the scrum with their uh, number 13, Romanu Manu, taking the ball up and uh, playing it about uh, three to the left of that a uh, left-hand post on back on the inside is Apakitu, and uh, playing it back here through Masiu Romanu Manu. The big second rower breaking free from a couple of tackles, but uh, numbers come in there, taking Andre Fono, he stands and plays it about 10 away from the line. Back through Romanu Manu. They come here through the left, but uh, a smart play there. Very smart play from Dane Keeper coming out of the line for New Zealand and, and taking the man. They come out here through their 12. They've got numbers. The ball goes through for the Pacific Islanders side, but the grubbers tapped on off. Whose feet did it come? It came off Pacific Islander feet. We're coming out here for uh, a 20-meter restart for the New Zealand side. Yeah, so... Uh Good scramble of defence here from the New Zealand side. But they're, once again, they're trying to get this up-tempo, fast football happening. Wasn't the, uh, the last tackle there for the Pacific side, so po possibly not the, uh, the smartest play, uh, not to, to extinguish that set and uh, see what they could do on the last. But the New Zealand side here, that's through their number eight. Axel Beasley off the plays are between second row and uh, prop, and we see them go over the halfway line here and we'll hear, uh, we'll hear the referee call it back for a forward pass. The uh, touch judge spotted it and uh, passed that on to his referee and uh, the New Zealand side put up a couple of seconds later. But well, once again they've parked uh, Big Hoepa Jackson down this blind side again so uh, that's, that's definitely their game plan as you can see down uh, for the PI, PI guys uh, closest to us here on this eastern side there's not a lot of size there for them and it's uh, it was looking like it could have been very much a repeat of uh, the first try. Well, you can see just looking at the, the scrums there, there's probably 50 to 100 kilos difference between the, the two packs. And as you mentioned, Robbo, uh, we are under international rules here for this carnival. A little bit of push and shove, uh, a bit more hooking that we sometimes see in the scrums. So let's see how they stand up here. But uh, they do well and lock forward, picking it up and getting it out down this blind side. Strong run from their number two. Bayer Geyer taking it within 45 metres of the line with a, a strong run. They go through their uh, 10. That's a tie Y. And I think you'll see Dane Keeper who got bounced off that uh, tackle there earlier. He's, he's sort of carrying that arm, so he, he's pulled up a little bit worse for wear. An interesting call we've, we've seen here. Uh, Ezra Bailey taking it up, and he thought he'd caught the, the marker defence napping. 
Uh, it should have been a penalty to the uh, Pacific Island uh, side, you, you imagine, given those markers were, were at sixes and sevens, but uh, not the result we're getting out here. Yeah, as you say, very hard done by. Um, that's that's how I saw it, but um, yeah, obviously the, the referee saw it slightly differently. But uh, yeah, once again, just sort of ease, ease the pressure off uh, the New Zealand side. New Zealand side uh, taking it up but with about 10 minutes to go in this clash here. They are ahead on the scoreboard against the uh, Pacific Islanders side who are needing to put some points on the board and uh, Garcia there affecting uh, the first part of that tackle for the Pacific Island side and stopping his uh, counterpart 40 metres away from his own line. New Zealand here through the 13, that's uh, Rory. Very, very strong player, Delray. But uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see a penalty here. Just... The PI guys just trying to slow that, play the play the ball down just a little bit, just try and get themselves back in this game. This New Zealand side, All Stars side, up six nil, scoring uh, quite early in the uh, the game and putting themselves, putting their stamp of ascendancy on this clash. But the Pacific Island side, by no means out of it. We've seen some flashes from them in this clash so far, Robbo, and uh, they could uh, score from anywhere on the field. It, it seems with the uh, the players they've got. Yeah, a couple of players there. Big Benji Fono in the twelve, and also Fred Williams at their halfback. Uh, they're two guys that they're, they're going to heavily rely on to get themselves back in this game. But if their defence doesn't hold up for this set of six and New Zealand boys put another try on, mate, she's, I'm pretty sure she'd almost be all over for tonight. For Donald, to mm, definitely Donald Clune there, the New Zealand man, taking in that tackle there and holding it up before getting the pass away to the 18. This is Andrews going close to the line. And as you say, Robbo, if they couldn't hold them out here, it could be all over for them in a great try. Great solo effort from this New Zealand side. They're 18. Noah Andrews, the Raiders player here in the local competition, doing it all himself. That's their second try in this clash and with less than uh, 10 minutes to go, they are well and truly on top here. Yeah, so you'll actually see there in the six, Dane Keeper held up a brilliant ball there, hit Andrews, a uh, bit open space. I think he, he might have actually got the ball away to Mike Richards there at the end just to crash over the line. But um, as, as we say, 10 nil, not long, still a bit under 10 minutes to go in this game. And yeah, if uh, Patu gets his kick over, mate, she's uh, she's good night pretty much for the uh, PI side. Mikey Richards quite heavily involved and uh, plenty of speed, so he was he was there backing up on this right hand side and ready to take the pass. And that was a, a great play. He just held up perfectly, kept the defence in in two minds as he drifted across field and and uh, linked up at just the right time as well as we see. Patu trying to make it 12 0. A score that would get them the win here. Almost a carbon copy of his earlier kick here. So uh, you, got, you got the first one. Let's see how it goes this one. That was the kick 12 0. The New Zealand side now 12-0 up, two converted tries they've posted in uh, this 20-minute clash and we see them, oh, big run, first up and oh, getting a little bit aggressive, getting a little bit physical out there. But uh, making up uh, the number 20 there for the New Zealand side, uh, taking the, the full brunt of the, the Pacific Island defence. Benji, Benji Fono is coming up with an absolute special on Chris Davidson there and... Uh, Big Chris has bounced out, and next thing you know, Wooshka, he's run into Benji's younger brother, Andre, who's, mate, he's, he's probably just as big as him. And, uh, yeah, he's just caught him a little bit high. But I, I dare say you'll see Chrissy Davidson line up for another hit up here. Chris Davidson in the 20. Your prediction comes true, and again, cops at what looked like a, a shoulder charge and uh, could have been a penalty there from the uh, number 12 from the Pacific All-Stars side, Benji Fono. It was a, a bit of a carbon copy as they go down this right-hand side. Great hands on to Edwards. He's flying down this right-hand touchline, but taken about 10 metres away from the line. He had pace to burn, but the defence came across and shut that down almost as quickly as it started. Very silky smooth hands there from Micah Richards. Good good vision there. It was basically a no-look pass. He knew where the winger was. And, yeah, unfortunately, 
well, unfortunate for New Zealand, but uh, great for the PI side. The cover descents reacted, and then, yeah, all good to go. Snapped into to action early and taking uh, the number five there. One of the older players in this New Zealand All-Stars side, Peter Edwards, plays uh, with the Raiders in uh, the SA uh, Metropolitan Competition. And the Pacific side, they, uh, they certainly came out strongly in defence. What can they do in attack? Because this is really where they need to, to, uh, to size up against their uh, New Zealand opponents. And so far, 20 metres out from their own line, they're, they're not doing what they need to. I think those couple of hits from Benji Fona have uh, poked the beast that is this New Zealand side, mate. They're, they're really coming out of the line. They're trying to hit and hurt with their tackles and just being very dominant. But uh, unfortunately, they've probably just just uh, just jumped the gun there. I'm trying to catch them napping again. He's pointing at the defence saying, you're offside, you're offside, don't touch me. But uh, they eventually do and eventually bring him to ground about 41 metres away from the line, ball out in front, trying to hit the number two Thayer guy, but the ball sails over his head about a metre behind him, and the uh, the idea was right, he had some space down this left-hand flank, but the uh, the pass certainly wasn't. Yeah, uh, basically, I think both of the two, two PI players here both thought the other one was getting it, and they've uh, just sort of let it go. It wasn't a great ball from Williams to start, but uh, I, I believe it was catchable. But, uh, yeah, so... About 40 metres out here, we're going to pack this scrum. Uh, once again, we'll probably see a good fast attacking set from the Kiwi boys. And uh, chances are that they, well, they're a good chance to cross this line again, Dan. Kepper feeding it a very uh, clinical feed and uh, pick up from the base of the scrum there and some strong defence again from the Pacific side. They're all trying to, to spark each other, but uh, they're not going to do it giving away uh, penalties like that. Matawai, the, uh, the man involved, and he might get pulled out here. Someone is from the other uh, Pacific side. I think they've just got him for a bit, 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 bit over aggressive in that tackle there. So just trying to trying to get that result, trying to slow them down and, and uh, stop this juggernaut from rolling on. The, uh, the defence is, is energetic, it's, uh, it's, it's pouncing out of the, the line, but it's, it's not sparking the Pacific side, it's not uh, driving them in, into, into action, it's, it's one out, it's two out, but that's not what they need with uh, about five or so minutes left in uh, this clash game two of uh, the All-Stars Carnival, the Pacific side uh, trailing 12-0 against uh, New Zealand who are threatening again here and they'll bring it back towards centre ground, par two, involved in uh, plenty of the action. And uh, again, getting his hands on the football, I'll play it uh, through there. 11, Donald Clune, about 12 metres away from the line. Part two again, stepping off his right and backing into the defence. Gaining a, a couple more metres for his side. We'll come back through Nah, holding the ball in his left, trying to fend off in his right, but uh, dragged to ground. And, and he'll play it about two away from his line. They come back uh, deep here where they set out to the right, but going back towards the post and doing it all himself. Who needs your right side attack when you're uh, Dane Kepper and he can go straight over under the posts? He just sort of held the ball, just paused that little bit there, Dan. The, the defence drifted out to Mikey Richards and very, very, very quick on his feet. Good at Lucy's step. Keeper's gone off, off the right, back off the left, and he's gone straight through under the posts. That was good. That was clever. He caught the uh, Pacific defence uh, napping. They've uh, had the uh, lion's share of the work defensively to do and he, he kept them in two or three or four mines enough that he could just sail over himself. And that one uh, for the New Zealand side puts this game to bed. They're 16 points to nil up with a kick to come and uh, a few minutes to go here in this one and looking ominous for the, uh, the competition. They're going to pick up the two points here and uh, they're going to take a lot of work to stop us. Uh, this is the easiest conversion opportunity that they've had this game, Robbo, from right in front and making no mistake. Oh, that's right. Part two's just put, popped that straight over. Uh, I think we touched on it there right at the start that we had a few uh, rugby union players uh, running around for the PI side and uh, the combinations aren't quite there as yet. Yeah, and with seconds just left on the clock, it doesn't look like there's going to be too much more happening in this game tonight. So 18 points to nil that uh, try duly converted and 
Pacific side trying a bit of a short kickoff. I don't know whether you could call it that, but the bounce not going their way. Not much has in this uh, clash so far. And the New Zealand side looking to uh, post some more points, but the uh, the seconds dripped away and they've uh, taken this clash 18 points nil against the uh, the Pacific side. And Dave Robinson, uh, a very well drilled outfit, the, the New Zealand boys. Oh, the, the Kiwi boys there tonight, they were pretty much clinical. Very few errors. Um, any chance they had, they were very fast tempo. They they went to the line in numbers. One or two loose balls there, here and there, but they were able to recover for those. But yeah, wow. Uh, very ominous warnings for the rest of the sides playing in the carnival there tonight. Uh, Mikey Richards, Dane Keeper, two guys. They, they were they were almost untouchable there for tonight. And, uh, yeah, so look out for the rest of the night. Look out. Let's go down to the, the field and the victorious New Zealand side. I'm here with New Zealand All-Stars player coach Dave Keeper. Now, Dave, you must be happy with the win. Oh, uh, yeah, that was pleasing, to, especially against a big team like PIs. They're always going to be a uh, big favourite for the carnival. So to get them first up and, and win quite convincingly, it's massive effort from the boys, definitely. What's it like for you as a coach having Joe Nullivar on the side helping you out? Joe who? Joe Nullivar. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's been good. He's been good. He, he gives us a few pointers and his experience is, is irreplaceable. And, um, his guidance has been awesome since he's been here. So, yeah. Now that was a good win, but what do you guys have to work on before the next game? Oh, it was very, it was, it was really scrappy. We want to, we want to show a, 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 a classy effort tonight. We, we don't want to be scraggly and, and, and get lucky. We want to win convincingly. So if we can tighten up our structure, especially, um, we'll be good. Thank you very much. Cheers. I'm joined by Benji Fono, the captain of the Pacific Islanders team. Benji, tough loss to start the tournament with. What do you think you can work on now? Um, oh, probably just. More communication. Um, well, a lot of us, it's not really the same PI team from last year, but we've still got a good group of boys. We just got to regroup and then wait for the next game. Yeah, you got, you're playing SA in the next game. Uh, did you catch any of their first game? Yeah, we caught a bit of their um, their first game, but on paper, the Aussie team they got a pretty good team. So do the Kiwi boys, but yeah, the um, the Aussie side they got a real good squad on paper, but hopefully we'll we'll go well against them. You had a really good tournament last year, Pacific Islanders winning and you were uh, player of the tournament. Must be a real honour for you to represent the Pacific Islands. Yeah, it's a huge honour. Um, as, as it is for all the other boys, I'm sure. Um, I think everyone was looking forward to this comp this year, so yeah, it's a good turnout. Yeah. Thank you, good luck. Thank you, 18-0 to the New Zealand side over the Pacific Islands All-Stars. They take the two points, they go to the top of the table after two clashes alongside the South Australian All-Stars team. From David Robinson and myself, Dan Conifer, thanks for watching this episode. We'll catch you next time 